Concentration is something that is inherent in being a corporate executive. Concentration is a result of equity awards, whether they are in the form of stock options, performance units, restricted stock, restricted stock units. It's, there are grants every year that people receive. They continually build up and they vest over a period of time. And suddenly, before you know it, you have a deep concentration in the company. That concentration has made you a great deal of wealth oftentimes, but many times it does not maintain that wealth. So the concern is at what point do you think that concentration is really too much? Frankly, perception is an important part. You believe in the company, you believe in the growth of the company, and you believe in perception being an important aspect for the outside market. But in reality, you have to think about diversifying to some extent because, in effect, that brings the whole volatility issue uh, down as far as your concentration in the stock. It's something that is hard to do, but I think the more you realize that concentration keeps building uh, without you doing anything about it, I think it's almost a necessity. When we looked at the Forbes 400 a few years ago, what was interesting is we focused on what percentage of that group stayed on and fell off the Forbes 400. And it seems that 48% of those that were formerly on the Forbes 400 were, fell off because of concentration. Diversification could easily have maintained their position on the Forbes 400. When we talk about diversification, we don't mean selling a great deal of your company stock by no means or exercising a great deal of options. First of all, you, you may not be able to. You have certain ownership requirements or there are underlying stock from the stock option exercise has to be held for a period of time. But what we're talking about is putting a pool of money around outside the equity, which is managed outside of that concentrated position complementing that concentrated position that provide you the comfort that you need to ensure that your mortgage is paid, your children's education is taken care of, and your daily needs are taken care of. Now the question is, how much is the proper balance? We should rank in a priority basis what are the most important uh, elements that we should think about in diversifying our portfolio. Should we be thinking about selling the stock or should we thinking about exercising the option? So we would like to help you think about the priority in determining what should be done first and diversifying your portfolio, knowing that your portfolio is only going to be a small piece of your overall concentrated holdings, but something to secure your future.